All right, so if you didn't know already, I used to be in a blazing squad, so I thought I'd bring the boys along with me, innit? <laughs> <laughs> We've known each other for, I'd say, God, it's got to be nearly, I'm, I'm trying to think how old I am, I'm 32, so it's got to be over 15 years, more than 15 years, oh my God, that makes you feel ill, <laughs> it's like 20 years, oh my God, 20 years, 20 years. it's got to be, yeah, 20 years, and well, year seven, still some of them, yeah, some of them not, <laughs> no, I'm joking, no, no, we're all still really, like, we are Good. all such, we're like such a tight unit, Good. to be honest. Known of all of them since secondary school, so what's that? like 12, uh, a few of them I've known for longer, so probably 20, 20 plus years, some of them, yeah. You haven't thought to kill anyone yet? Not yet, but these rehearsals are, uh, are testing my patience a little bit. <laughs> it was mad because obviously back in the day we used to get that a lot, but social media weren't really a thing when we was out before. I think MySpace came out just after we ended. So that's the first kind of time I've seen Blazing Squad really sort of got mad on a social media kind of hype. So yeah, it was weird, it was a good feeling though. Yeah, yeah, we're in a good position. It's been going well. Um, we're enjoying it as well. It's it's, it's nice to be to be around everyone. Um, but yeah, I feel I feel like we're doing okay at the moment. But on the night, I'll be fine. Do you know what? I think we sound better than I actually imagined we would sound. Like um, the vocals, the vocals on the track sound sick. Like because all the singing, we're like doing harmonies and that kind of stuff. So. It's that it's sounding it's sounding how I would have hoped it would sound. really well uh, when we first kind of started the rehearsals like it, you know I missed the first one because I was busy but yeah after that it's gone from strength to strength and I think we're getting there we're getting there good, it's, good. it's surprising how quickly it comes back to you yeah. um, it's one of them things where like when I first realized we were going to do the shows and there was going to be a lot of like effort that goes into putting it together um, I kind of was a little bit nervous and thinking, oh my God, like, how am I going to learn all these lines? Because obviously some of the boys are not doing it, so we're going to have to learn their bars as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all come together nicely and we're, yeah, we're really, really happy with it, man. Went with the with the one at, at Coco and Brixton because they kind of felt right. It's uh, a London show, and obviously we're East London boys, so it kind of yeah. it made sense to to do a homecoming gig. So and and the response has been brilliant as well. <laughs> Yeah, so finding out that the show had sold out within five hours was literally it was it was quite breathtaking because like obviously like I came out of the villa and like there was a lot of hype around the squad and whether or not we was gonna do a show. So when we so when we did actually agree to do it and they put it on put on, on sale, for it to sell it in five hours was mad and that's what kinda like gave us the push to do the second show because obviously there was so much demand for it, so we thought it'd be a good idea to, to do it. 
Let me let me let them know that they are the reason that I had a good childhood. Like, rather than being out on Saturday nights, I was at home watching them on TV, Top of the Pops, and all that kind of stuff. I would buy like five magazines a week. I have more than 300 magazines, and my whole room was literally full of posters. <laughs> Young dumb, young dumb and broke. What's that this we're kind of investing a lot more of our own time and energy into it to make it an actual blazing squad show which shows our personality and is what we think the fans want to see sort of for nostalgia purposes as well so we're kind of trying to take it back to 2002 2003 but with like a modern sort of twist on it Let's see we've got Lil Sai who's um, a rapper he's he's about to about to take the industry by storm like he's got a few big tunes that he's been performing so look, yeah He's a good one. Get them. Obviously, baby Kate's. He got the got uh, Nick. From, from, yeah, Nick from three other clients come down to support. <laughs> Good, like we've got a, like, a mix of yeah. like old school kind of art school. era, maybe yeah. a little bit after, and even some before, and obviously, yeah, there's some new school as well. So, like, we've got um, obviously, we had Lisa Mafia, the, the queen of uh, the queen of garage. <laughs> <laughs> We do like smaller club PAs, I don't get nervous for those, they sort of seem like second nature now. But this show, because a lot more is being put into it and it feels like it's us putting on something that for the fans, like there's been a few like waking up in the middle of the night, panic attacks. <laughs> uh, I always get slightly nervous just because you don't want anything to go wrong. Um, but. Usually, as soon as you get on stage, that n them nerves turn into adrenaline, and yeah, it's just a big rush. It kind of goes a lot quicker than you want it to when you're on stage. Ready to go. Only joking. I'm getting my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Matches. Ready? In the beginning. We're at the microphone. Yeah. 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 We're at the We're at the We're at the We're We're We're
the singles the songs that that if you haven't listened to blazing squad albums then you probably know anyway but this one is a lot more in the we're doing a lot more of the album tracks a lot more of the songs that our real fans from back then will know and probably want to hear <laughs> in Love Island he put the name back out there and surprisingly there's still <laughs> there's still the request for us lot um, and it just come about someone put it to us that we should do a night to be honest I don't think anyone expected the reaction that we was going to get at all I thought it would take at least 15 years to sell <laughs> yeah, I thought it would take but I was sold out in a day and I was just like wow so like you're in a villa people people want to know what you do and that kind of stuff obviously me telling people that I was from the Blazing Squad wasn't necessarily like it wasn't a, a plan. It wasn't it wasn't anything that I had planned to do. But it's who I am, isn't it? Like I'm 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 Marcel, I'm Rocky B from the Blazing Squad. Like it's just something that everyone in the villa had to know and should have known. So I let them know. Oh, oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so basically this summer I 
spent the whole summer on an island. I met like the most beautiful girl of the family, man. Sure, sure. But, right now, I'm not here to talk about this summer. I'm here to talk about the summer when I was like 17. So, are you not ready to reminisce with me? During our set, we got um, Maddie who comes out and does a tune with me called If You Wish It. It's a big tune. Oh, yeah. After the group, like a few of us have con kind of continued doing the music, and like one of the guys who's definitely like maintained his level of like lyrics and rapping is definitely mellow. So like when he came out and done his freestyle, like obviously like I knew he was gonna light it up, but he definitely done his thing. Where the story is, I think, because I think before before we recorded that song, all we ever really used to do was go in the studio and everyone would write like an eight bar rap and it would just get thrown on a song. I think that's the first time we've sat down as a group and collectively actually written an actual song together. And then we managed to incorporate all the fans in the video for it as well. So that was, that's probably the most special one for me. expected to sell out so quick um, just shocked really um, and it just makes you realize how many fans that we still have now who like want to come and see us so it's um, you know it's nice to give something back to them by going back out and brushing the cobwebs off <laughs> Back in the day, like he used to be on stage with us, but um, for this show, he was he was running the rhythms and doing his thing. And like he's a, he's an amazing DJ. He's literally one of the one of the best DJs I've ever. He can vinyl, CDs, MP3s, whatever it is, he can mix on anything. And he's just he's a much needed member of the squad. 
I've always been into music, man. I, I, like, I love music. Obviously, I do management now, and like in terms of the the kind of idea of being able to go full circle and give an artist the insight into what it's like, and kind of worn a t-shirt kind of thing. And I know that the corner you've got to fight against certain aspects of the, of the business, and you know. So yeah, it's always been a, you know a big, a big kind of um, opportunity for me to give someone else the 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 kind of success that we were lucky enough to have. And um, yeah, it's, it's always been a dream of mine to make someone else's dream come true. So yeah, it's it's all good, man. Um, you know what? I, I've always got a soft spot for flip reverse. You know, um, just because I think the the sound of it is still very current. Like it's it don't seem to have of 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 kind of um, it's, we've stood the, the test of time, and um, yeah, I definitely would say that Flip Reverse is one I like performing, um, and it's also one that, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's probably the, the top one for me to, you know, to go for, yeah. When I say blaze it, you say squat, blaze it, blaze it. When I say blaze it, you say squat, blaze it. It's just absolutely crazy to be honest because obviously <clears throat> I think a lot of the older generation, like our older fans that grew up with our music, they probably was thinking of nostalgia when they started listening to it. <clears throat> they was probably like, oh my god I haven't listened to their music for so long. And then all the people that was obviously watching Love Island, like all the new younger, like all the new younger generation was obviously f watching Marcel thinking, who the hell are the Blazing Squad? So it got a massive interest going again so hopefully they, hopefully they enjoyed it. <laughs> Everyone's made this possible. We've got all our souls and it's been amazing. So thank you very much. I know you're all waiting for one more too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it!
Yeah, no, I've been tagged in about a million photos, like a million videos. I think all the fans loved it. Like every single message on Twitter and Instagram has just been yeah. like, you boys smashed it. They absolutely so, I mean, loved like, it. They literally loved it. So like, I'm happy, I'm happy that we've done the thing. They remember the words better than us. Do you know what? There was one girl, I spoke one girl, and she was spitting the bar to every single, single song. Yeah. Literally, there was not one lyric that she didn't know, and I was like, rah. Yeah, she rating. killed it. Yeah, big rating. The energy that we bring to the stage, like for like for like 30, for 31 and 32 year olds, like yeah. we're, we're a bit aged. Do you know everyone's we, aching today yeah. as well? Yeah, mate. Like it's like I feel like like Danny Danny Glover, mate. I'm gonna get his <laughs> role for this shit. But at the same time, the energy that I saw like throughout there last night was mad. Yeah. Like I saw man like on standard flow, everyone was just like running out like they were like 16 again. Like, I know it was crazy. Man. It was absolutely unbelievable to me. It was wicked. So we gotta say thank you to everyone. Yeah. That came last night, there was people yeah. that came from Germany. Germany as well yeah. and I heard that one girl came from Northampton last night yeah went back home and is coming back again tonight Insane. so you definitely Thank biggest you. fan tonight if you're here yeah, yeah, yeah. dedicated <laughs> to you that song definitely because you are number one last night let's talk about last night last night Coco oh was unbelievable I, I still still buzzing about it. The, mem the memories that it brings back as well, man. Oh, it's insane. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's amazing though. We haven't done it for so long, but it brought back so many memories and so many like happy It's nice to see smiling faces, faces really. as well and like singing the songs. The lyrics, they know more lyrics than yeah. I do. The weirdest thing is, we did it like 15 years ago, but there's women now who are like 32 who would then come up to me afterwards and still crying about it. Listen, yeah, like, unbelievable. Like, the, crazy, the, the support was overwhelming. Really, like, I was like goosebumps down the back of my neck. It was amazing. It was incredible. So but tonight, another night, another night. Brixton, yeah, yeah. Literally Brixton Rolling tonight. Brixton. So, roll, roll fingers roll crossed people. this is good. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. Got up their game to beat last night, I think. <laughs> Come in, Jeffrey. Always be in a room. 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 Always be in a